Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. So good morning. Today I wanted to share with you five of my favorite salads for the summer. I eat a lot of salads, so I have to kind of change it up a little bit, but these are my top five favorites. So I hope you stick around. Salad number one is one of my favorite summer salads. Doesn't this look delicious? I've showed it on my channel many times, but it definitely bears another look. <laughs> so this is a watermelon feta salad. And what I have is some arugula, watermelon, of course. I did add some radishes to this salad, this version. I thought the pepperiness would just taste really good with the watermelon. I also have some pepitas. And the dressing on this salad is the Panera poppy seed dressing salad that you can buy in the store. And it has a slight sweetness to it, so it goes really well with the watermelon and the arugula, which is a little peppery also, but it's so delicious. Now you can add protein to this, such as chicken. You can add even some bacon might be good. The saltiness with the, the watermelon would be really good. Okay, here's salad number two. And I'm gonna call this an Italian salad. So what I have here is just some romaine lettuce, cucumber, some grape tomatoes that I cut in half, and the white balls are actually mozzarella pearls. So I added those, and the little crushed up things you see there are actually croutons. I weighed them out, and then I crushed them really fine. I had gotten a pre-made salad kit, and it had croutons in it, and they smash them all up, and I really love that idea. So I did that. What else do I have? Oh, I have a little bit of some banana peppers. Didn't see them here, but they're in there somewhere. And this is some grilled chicken. So I marinated it with some Italian kind of spices, a little bit of vinegar, and a little bit of oil. And my husband grilled it. And then today I just kept it really easy and I used some wishbone light Italian dressing. I really like that one. So yeah, this is it. And salad number three is my version of Panera's poppy seed dressing that has the strawberries and all that. Um, they put a lot of fruit in it. They put orange segments, they put blueberries, I only had strawberries today, so that's what I'm using. So what I have is just two cups of arugula, some sliced strawberries, a half a serving of feta cheese. I have some pepitas in there just for a salty crunch. I cut up a little stalk of celery with the leaves. I love the flavor of the leaves. And then on top, I have some chicken salad that I bought at Target in a little cup. It's the cranberry almond one. And then also, what do I have? Oh, the poppy seed dressing from Panera that you can buy in the jar. This is only part of the salad. This is for two people. My husband and I are having this. It's an Italian sub salad. And I mentioned this salad because I had to buy all the ingredients in my last grocery haul video. Um, so I'm definitely linking that below because I showed a couple of the ingredients for the different salads. But I'm going to toss this up. I put the dressing on it. I'm gonna to toss it up, I'm gonna plate it, and then I'm gonna put the rest of the ingredients on top and I'll show you what that looks like. So I added all the meat to my Italian sub salad. There it is, some salami, provolone, some turkey. Oh, and I added black olives too. I don't know if I mentioned that and some banana peppers. 
Does that not look delicious? Okay, this is salad number five, and it's a Greek salad. What I have is romaine lettuce. I have some grape tomatoes. I have some homegrown cucumbers that I peeled and just cut up in little bits, and some red onion, and I have some feta cheese, chickpeas, some chicken. I just sauteed it with a little bit of um, avocado oil. And I marinated the chicken in oregano, a little lemon juice, salt and pepper, and a tiny bit of olive oil. I think it looks really, really good. And I made a homemade Greek dressing. It's made of red wine vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper, oregano, lemon juice, and garlic. And I'll write out that recipe in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you got some ideas to make some salads for yourself. Let me know in the comments what your favorite is. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that little bell because when you do that and you select all, you'll see every time I upload a new video. So I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.